transformative power of rituals has helped humankind for thousands of years. Rituals are metaphor for many aspects of our life. They convey powerful messages symbolically. I find our annual ritual of filling the flower heart here, not only a metaphor for community, which is composed of individuals, but also a very timely metaphor for this fellowship. Over the last 10 years, I've seen you build a community filled with respect and honor for the diversity of beliefs and backgrounds of the people here. During, the, during that time, you've created a safe place, even with the discomfort of our differences. If we're to grow spiritually, we must leave our comfort zone. I've shared this with you before, but in seminary, I was taught we cling to our comfort zone. When we leave our comfort zone, we are actually moving into our learning zone. Beyond that is the panic zone. <laughs> so we need to be out of our comfort zone and in the learning zone in order to grow, spiritually grow. In my time here with you all, this place has truly become a very safe place to feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is meant expressing your individual opinion and not get in your way. Sometimes the community agreed with you, sometimes not. Being together in a covenantal religion, which uses democracy to govern ourselves can be messy. But when we continue to work and honor our differences, something magic happens. A work of amazing beauty is created that none of us could have orchestrated by ourselves. Over the time I've been here, I've seen you remember that while you are unique individuals, you recognize that you're part of something much, much greater. And that when you combine your individual efforts, we become something unachievable as an individual. We become something beautiful, magnificent, not perfect, because there is no such thing. Rituals are symbolic, and today is our flowering heart ritual, provides a metaphor for understanding and appreciating human endeavors. We start with this framework. Some people have called it ugly. It's just a framework. <laughs> By itself, it's a fine piece of hardware. Thank you, the Swain family. But also, not everyone sees it as a thing of beauty. Let's see what happens when we combine our individual gifts to this framework. Let's see. So the instructions are, we have, if you brought flowers, great. There's flowers here. And we're going to do choir. Yeah. yeah. So choir will give us some music. And let's, let's try and get organized here. Why don't we start with this side of the sanctuary? And you guys can come this way and come up, do it, and then go back to your seat the other way. So that way we can get a flow going. And then after this site's done, we can start on this side. So yeah, there's still a little water. So as, as you're willing, uh, if you want to participate, please line up and put a flower in the heart. Oh, 
Did everyone in the kitchen ministry get to do a flower? I saw some. Yeah, would you? Flowers. For, for our Zoom congregation. I'm going to put it on gallery for a second. If any of you have a flower, if you would hold it up, we can at least see. Mindy Shear has a flower um, picture. Uh, John David is a flower behind his right ear. <laughs> and yeah, okay, that's good. Thank you all for the Zoom congregation as well as people here. May the beauty of what we have now created as community be a blessing and a reminder of the power of what we can do together. Working together makes things possible, things that we cannot do alone. Together, we can create things that none of us could have imagined doing. Thank you for being part of this community and contributing your work to make us beautiful. Amen and blessed be.